Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be talking about our Old Country Pecos and the modifications that we've made so far. And uh, something that I'm seeing that just isn't working anymore. Um, so we did our stack extension. We did remove the baffle. We also opened up the throat between the firebox and the cook chamber by 25 to 30%. We threw a, uh, a cooking grate or a fire basket grate um, in the firebox and that seemed to hold the coals pretty well keep the embers from falling down into the ashes those are the updates that we've done we added a couple of uh, thermometers down low by the grates so that we get a true cooking surface temperature but uh, here's something that really just really this is one thing that drives me crazy I never use this I never open this door I never use that door it's got a twist to it I've tried to fix the twist but see there's a quarter inch gap. I filled in them with felt, um, but I can push down on it and it fully closes. So uh, because I don't like to use this, because I don't grill over this side, I took the slide out, I cleaned out the firebox, and uh, well, we're welding our shut. Welding our door shut will do two things. It's gonna increase the efficiency of the fire uh, because right now, those BTUs, uh, those flames that smoke, everything that's good about a wood-fired smoker is escaping through those cracks and openings in the door. Now, um, you can, when you buy a new Pecos or a new Old Country, you can find one of these that sits uh, much more nicely, that closes nicer. In fact, the newer ones have gussets built onto their doors. This one is an older model. It didn't have the gussets on the doors uh, to keep that warping from happening during the heating process. So you can get around that. But because I bought this used, it's not closing. Um, we're losing all of our uh, efficiency before it has the opportunity to be effective on the meat. So we're gonna weld it shut. Yeah, I, I'm considering partially insulating this. Now remember, my whole goal for this smoker is to have less than $1,000 invested in it. And it would cost a little bit more than $1,000 for me to build it new. So it just makes more sense to grab one of these used and make these modifications. So let's get this welded up. And then we're gonna throw some post oak on there and uh, try it out with some uh, Uncle Steve's shake and chicken wings. So let's get to work, let's roll out. PPE kits, um, it, it pains me that I used to be able to wear this comfortably. Um, anyways, she's sealed up. She's not pretty. Um, she's not 100% sealed. I will do that with a uh, stick welder. Uh, all I've got at the house right now is my wire welder, and it's um, about 10 years old, and I paid like 75 bucks for it then. Uh, so, working with a bare minimum here, folks. We got it all welded up, um, really hit all four corners, a couple of spots in the middle uh, where it was warped, made sure I put pressure on it so it would close all the way. Um, this still will leak a little bit um, of smoke, but I think the a majority of our heat will be retained. Uh, while I had the uh, flap disc on the grinder, I took that opportunity to clean up some of the surface rust on the top. and. Uh, Give it a little bit of a cool look, a little patina. I also cut the handle off here and uh, put it onto uh, our fire door latch. And uh, that makes it a lot easier to open, close, and adjust. Um, I like that a lot better. Got a little bit of cleaning up to do. We're gonna clean this out and get a fire started. And then I'll come back and show you how we're gonna cook our uh, Uncle Steve shake chicken legs, or chicken drums, whatever you call them. I'll see you in a minute. All right guys, we got it welded up. It is holding very nicely, a lot better than I thought it would. 
Uh, there is a little bit of seepage coming from the back side, which we didn't weld any of that with the hinge in the way, but super happy with it. It did heat up a lot better. The way I did that tray, kind of a prototype of the basket I want to make, is working absolutely fantastic. I use less charcoal than I would uh, a charcoal basket full and uh, just one log in there so far. And we're running at 350 uh, for the last almost 45 minutes. So really, really happy with that. Let's go ahead and get these thrown on there. Like I said, we're running 350 degrees and uh, we're just gonna put these across here. Want the big end, the drum, to face towards the heat source to kind of absorb that. And see, I'm gonna offset these a little bit. All right, so we're gonna close it down just like that. And uh, I'm actually gonna let this fire uh, come up to about 375 and that's where I'm gonna manage it, right around 375. And I'm kinda gonna use this as a uh, air fryer um lots of air movement lots of convection and lots of heat so we're going to be getting smoke fried drumsticks i guess on the old country pecos but uh anyways we're going to finish these up i'm super happy with this modification of the firebox i am going to be taking this off um, the hinges off fully welding it i will also be possibly insulating the top side and adding some fire blocks to it once i finish the basket but uh, we'll just see how, how uh, we like it, but uh, during this cook, I'll throw some oil on it just to get it sealed up, and uh, we'll be good to go. I'm going to enjoy some of this chicken. I'm going to enjoy this wonderful weather that we've got going on right now while the wind has subsided, and I hope that you do the same. we got Easter coming up, guys. I hope you get outside, cook something, enjoy time with your family, enjoy the outdoors. Most of all, enjoy some barbecue and drink more water. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You know, it's free to do it. Thanks.